Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nidhi and you're watching my series on how to become a cabin crew. A lot of you who actually tell me that if uh, the requirement of an airline is uh, 158 centimeters and if I'm 157 centimeters, should I go for the interview or not? I will talk about that later, but you have to keep in mind that uh, for any reason, if you fall short of being able to reach the overhead compartment, you're actually putting your own life in danger. And at the same time, you're putting uh, uh, your fellow uh, colleagues and the passengers life in danger as well. So uh, from that perspective, having the height that an airline requires you to have is very, very important. It's very, very important for you to have a certain height for two reasons. One, uh, because of the height of the aircraft, uh, we uh, usually store, uh, usually store uh, uh, all our bags in the overhead compartments and you have to assist passengers to store bags in the overhead compartments. At the same time, all our safety equipment is basically stored in the overhead compartments. So if there is an emergency, you should be able to actually reach the overhead compartments and uh, bring the emergency equipment down with you and assist passengers in, in, uh, in the case of emergency or in the case of safety. Uh, so this is one of the most important criteria as to why the height is so important. There are certain airlines which do make exceptions, uh, especially when they are hiring internally. So even if you do not reach that uh, height criteria, uh, if you're maybe 0.5 centimeter tall, uh, short or point, uh, one cent or, or maybe, you know, just one centimeter uh, shorter than actually the required height, sometimes they do hire you. Now, this is something which is very, very internal. Uh, this really depends on the aircraft. Uh, this really depends on the airline itself, whether they want to do that kind of exception for their internal staff or for that matter of fact, when you go for the interview, uh, it really depends on the airline. I, I have people who have told me that they have seen cabin crew who have gotten selected in certain airlines, even though they did not meet the height criteria. Now, this is something which is very, very uh, subjected uh, to the airline itself. So again, uh, my suggestion and advice to you guys here would be that if uh, you want to appear for the interview of a certain airline and uh, they have stated a minimum height that you need to have and if you do not have that height and if you want to take your chances and you want to appear for the interview and see whether you uh, get passed through, uh, then by all means, go ahead and do that. Uh, if they are not going to take you, they're anyways going to tell you because uh, taking your height is one of the first uh, rounds that they usually conduct. Uh, so they will definitely go ahead and uh, let you know whether you are eligible to go to the next rounds or you're not eligible to apply for the airline. So go ahead and do that instead of asking me uh, whether you should go for the interview. My suggestion to you guys would be go for the interview and let the interviewers or the airline decide and let you know what they think about it. So you have to take your chances and go ahead and see whether uh, they're okay to take you, whether they find your personality good enough or whether they, they see that you're, you have a great amount of cabin crew experience or you have good amount of customer service experience and they want to make an exception. So it's really, really on them. Although uh, uh, not a lot of people have asked me this, but I have come across uh, this question before. Is there a maximum height? Uh, now, again, uh, of course, uh, you have to have a certain minimum height. And uh, I would think logically you have to have a certain maximum height as well. Uh, although uh, I haven't really come across people who are that tall that they can uh, not stand in the aircraft. But I think it's very subjective. Again, depending upon the aircraft that the airline is operating, if they have smaller aircrafts, then probably they would not be able to uh, accommodate people who are really, really tall. So uh, that's all that I can talk about when it comes to maximum height. And again, uh, go for the interview. If the airline does not uh, uh, think that you're a good fit, uh, then they will let you know. So uh, do not stop yourself from going to the interview if uh, you are 0.5 centimeters short or if you're one centimeter short. But again, having said that, if you were to ask me that the airline uh, uh, requires me to have 155 centimeters as my height, and I am only 150 centimeters, should I go for the interview? Well, uh, in all honesty, not really, because 
uh, most likely the airline will not be able to accept you uh, unless they have some sort of internal scheme, unless they have already mentioned to you that they want to make an exception if you're already a, a ground staff with them or if they have certain rules that they've laid out where it says that you can apply even if you do not meet the height requirement uh, because this is like an internal opportunity or uh, you know, they have a range. Uh, so for example, I was just looking up online and there is this airline uh, which does not really uh, operate. So this is called the Vietjet Air, which is the airline from Vietnam. And it says that uh, the acceptable height limit uh, for female is 167 sorry, 160 centimeter, 275 centimeter. However, 158 centimeter is acceptable uh, for the candidates who have cabin crew experience. And for male, uh, it's uh, anything between 170 centimeters to 180 centimeters. This is what I wanted to tell you guys about the height requirement. So again, go ahead and check the website and do your research. And I'm gonna make a separate video where I'm gonna talk about uh, if there is a way or a possibility uh, how you can increase your height. I do have a, a, a friend uh, who actually came for a coaching session and uh, she told me her story about how she actually managed to increase her height uh, using certain exercises and I'm going to share with you guys but there are a lot of exercises available on the internet. Uh, go ahead and check them out and see whether they actually help you in your height uh, gain but of course uh, uh, given uh, the physical nature of our bodies uh, we all know that after a certain age, it's very difficult to actually increase uh, the height. So uh, that's a different topic altogether. But again, I hope this information uh, and this video was valuable to you. And if it was, uh, do remember to like the video, do share it with your friends, uh, do subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell for more updates. And uh, in the meantime, all of you out there, stay pretty, stay handsome. And I love you guys. And also remember that uh, if you want to get in touch with me, I do uh, group coaching classes, personal coaching classes. Do remember to check the information on my website. So see you. Bye-bye. Love you guys.